Hey there, Scipio here. And the next part of the Taro 680 hexacopter build is going to be getting this bottom carbon fiber plate assembled. This is the plate that's going to house the landing gear and the battery and camera gimbal mount. So we've got these little rings and we're going to insert uh, these little rubber inserts into them. And these are what's going to hold the two carbon fiber tubes that will hold later our battery and if you're going to use a gimbal, a gimbal. Now there's a little plastic film or rubber film uh, inside the middle of these uh, that kind of closes that hole. Don't worry about that for now. Uh, we're going to just punch through that when we put our uh, carbon fiber tube through. But what you want to do is just get these lined up. Now there's two gold ones and two black ones in my kit. It doesn't really matter. They're the same thing other than the color. I put the gold ones in the front. Uh, but you know you can do uh, whatever you want. But basically, we're going to um, just use two screws. Uh, don't forget thread lock uh, to screw each of these in. And you can kind of see here where they're going. Uh, two are going to face uh, forward uh, on, the, on the front side. And then two are going to be obviously facing back on the back side. And there really is no front back. So just get them on there. Um, they're not really directional at all. And like I said, other than the color, there's no difference between any of them. So there's the front two mounted. It does say tarot on the side. And let's get these back two in place. And there we go. So that's it. Again, there's that little rubber film in there. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not going to stop us later. So the next thing we want to do is get our landing gear parts put on. This is the base for the landing gear. And it's going to fit right on the sides underneath where the... Uh, the straight non foldable booms are going to be and one on each side they're going to hang off just like this and as you can see here there's a little hinge that's going to press up you know kind of fit up against the side of the carbon fiber so uh, it's pretty simple I mean this this stuff is pretty easy to figure out so we're just going through the motions of getting it built right now you're going to use just the two inside screws to mount these because the two outside screws are going to be dealt with later when we combine the two pieces, the top and the bottom. Just make sure your uh, little flip uh, lock thing is on the outside. And again, just the two inside screws. Plenty of thread lock. Um, I've heard a lot of guys having problems with uh, screws backing out on these builds, so make sure you're using lots of thread lock. There we go. That's how that's going to be. Now we've got to work on the landing gear legs and just slip over uh, one of these clips on the leg you're working on. I actually had uh, have seen kits with black uh, clips uh, you know I I think they just throw in whatever extras they have so whatever colors you have it doesn't really matter here um, and then you've got these little they look like Italy shaped pieces if you ask me but uh, you've got these little uh, pieces that are gonna gonna mount the clip uh, and the entire assembly to the base so um, you see there's these slotted uh, holes. Make sure you're using thread lock again and then get those slotted in. And I'll show you what I found out later on is uh, if you just put a screw in the top to hold everything in place while you tighten down the bottom, it'll work out really well. As a matter of fact, um, I began using that screw, that top screw, just to index everything. Now this screw's in there temporarily. We're not going to use it right now. We're going to we're going to uh, have to do something later with that hole before we put a screw in there. But uh, so you know, but if you screw the top in, it'll swivel around and you can line up those bottom holes pretty easy. So that might help you. And then uh, you know, I push it all the way, and you'll see this when it gets all installed. But that the tip of the boot, if this was Italy, gets pushed uh, to the right in this view. Uh, in those slots so uh, hopefully that makes sense and then uh, you know now we can take off these temporary screws here because we're not going to need those right now all right so that's how that's looking now that we have that done we can obviously uh, you know knock out the other side and uh, do the same exact thing to it should be quick work Bam. Okay, so now this is going to fit inside the landing gear, and it's kind of like a little puzzle. You can see inside here, 
that the carbon fiber fits against the plastic. Uh, it, it, so it's, it's grooved out like a puzzle. So there's only one way to put it in there. Uh, then put thread lock on your screws. Now we're going to put those screws in. We needed to have that plastic outside piece there. Um, get both of those screwed in uh, nice and snug. And then there you go. There's the, uh, the final mount of the landing gear. A little stiff, ugh, but uh, you know, once the whole thing goes together, it's not so bad. So anyway, that's how you want that to look. And uh, now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. This really does go together quite easily. All right, so there we go. We've got the landing gear. We've got the two uh, holders for the uh, tubes. And uh, now let's put the feet on the landing gear. You've got these little T uh, adapters. And so the landing gear uh, bottoms, the feet, and the tubes for the battery tray are the same. They're 10 millimeter carbon fiber tubes. So, oh, and don't forget, you've got all these little grub screws in here. Don't lose them. They're just kind of loose in this bag. So uh, just make sure you account for all of them. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to put these carbon fiber uh, or these uh, little uh, feet on. But they were a little loose, so I'm using scotch tape to take up the gap. And what I found is, <laughs> on mine, three layers of scotch tape worked well. One layer of electrical tape was too thick. So, uh, you know, trial and error on that, but uh, I used three three wraps of scotch tape. I tried not to overlap too much, so uh, you see me here kind of trimming a little bit. doesn't have to be exact, but uh, like I said, uh, I started out with one layer of the... Uh, the electrical tape and it was just too thick i couldn't get that uh t adapter on all the way but three layers of scotch tape was just perfect and it's going to give uh something for it to grip onto and there uh, it's nice and uh nice and snug all right so uh we're going to use our grub screw to uh, hold that in there's two grub screws on this one on each side and just try and get it lined up as straight as you can um, I worked really hard to get it lined up straight and then found out later on it, it kind of moves around anyway. So uh, just get it as close as you can. All right, here's those 10 millimeter tubes. And let's go ahead and put the end caps on the ones for the battery tray and just get them out of the way so we don't lose them. The ones we're going to use for the landing gear uh, feet, we're just going to slip in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and lock those in place, uh, get them you know even using the grub screw to tighten them down. I used a caliper just to make sure I was close. Looked like about 140 millimeters on each side, but you don't have to be that precise by any means. Now, putting these things on can be tricky. Here's the trick I found. Just take some um, dish soap in a little bit of water and just lubricate that. Uh, it's an old, you know, putting on bicycle grips on the handlebars trick. Uh, it lubricates it enough that you can get it to slip on pretty easy, but then also dries out and, uh, and won't be a problem later. So... Uh, if you're having problems getting those on, you just might try that. That works out uh, really nice. And you kind of inchworm it on, and uh, just make sure you get those things on all the way. And once it dries out, it'll be uh, it'll be on there pretty solid. All right, so uh, there we go. There's the finished bottom uh, plate assembly, landing gear, and ready to go, and affixed to the top. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.